Alright everybody, what's up? Mr. Spangles here, bringing you another hardcore survival, and I know it's been a long time. Most of you probably think I died, as is the case when a lot of people have a series and don't post it for a while. If it's a hardcore one, they probably died. Not dead, I just have been very busy. So... I've been coming back to you guys, <laughs> I've been uh, bringing up the subject of recording, not recording quite a bit. I know I was like, I'm super busy and I'm probably not going to record some, but then I came back and I'm like, hey, I'm here, I'm going to record a lot, and I'm sorry that I keep uh, going back and forth on this. I'm here to talk about this, which for, for be the last time because I'm sure you guys are probably getting pretty old of hearing about this, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say right here, right now, I'm going to record videos, sometimes I will, sometimes I won't. I'm not going to, I can't keep myself to a schedule at this point in life with school and other stuff going on. I cannot say any schedule whatsoever. I'll just say, hey, I'll post when I post and thank you for watching my videos. When I do post, I still very much appreciate it. I'm going to have to remember what I left off on. I think last time I built a farm and see, I have not been back on the server. I did not die, nothing happened, I just been a little busy so you know i'm here i'm recording another video it's been a while i think this video i'm gonna make really long so if anyone like wants stuff to watch it's there i don't know if this is gonna be like the most fun packed episode ever look at that i had i had some decent resources going on i don't really remember what i should do now uh hmm probably just gonna go through and start becoming doing things more essential what i really really need is diamonds so i guess i'm gonna go on a long trip huh i'll just go find a cave not near me because the cave that uh i am in currently have not been able to find any diamonds i just keep trying and there's no luck no luck at all so i'm just gonna find a whole new cave bring lots of stuff with me make sure i am just well prepared for the long journey ahead of me didn't i all right there we go put some of there in that throw this in there I'm gonna make sure I just, you know, I got just enough stuff. Do not want to come unprepared. I'm gonna be leaving. There we go. 61 torches. That's quite a bit. I'll bring some sticks. I'll bring. Where's my wood supply? There it is. I'll bring. 46 wood. There we go. That's not a bad amount. I'll bring some iron with me just in case. Uh, that should be enough food for a while at least. If I need to kill zombies just to get their meat while I'm in a cave because I run out. So be it. I'm going to plant a couple of these before I head out, and I'll try to fill my bucket with water. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I could need. I mean, uh, I guess I could do with another sword. I mean, not finding diamonds has really been a... Uh... Oh! Hey, look at that. I got three string. I will make myself a bow. And how... If I can't make a bow, it should be like this. There we go. If I had not been able to make a bow, you guys probably would have been pretty sad with me. Especially since you guys know how much I love a bow. Hey, I can actually make some... Uh, yeah, I can make some arrows too. I'm going to do that. Nice. I'm going to get some arrows up here too. Awesome. That's really cool. Getting some stuff done. Just started. And I'm getting arrows. I'm getting a bow. I'm getting prepared. Look at that. 51 arrows. That It's good for me. Good for me. So I'm going to plant this. Uh, make sure... Okay, got to make sure I get the sword. And there we go. I'll make sure I use up this uh, sword that I already had before I throw up this one because I want to be resourceful. Throw that right there. Let's put the food in the hot bar when I plant the saplings. Do I, I? I look like pretty good. I'm probably forgetting something. I always forget something. Yeah, you guys probably won't ever see me go in there for a while. It's the most lame nether. You know, here, just in case any of you guys are curious, I'm going to pop in for like one second just to show you guys around. Show you what's happening in the nether. Show you the spawn I got, which is, like, just boring. Just a bit safe and... Look at this. I spawned in, like, this little area. The only thing I could do was walk backwards with some fire, which I wouldn't even die because it's just fire. So, there's also quartz here. I'm not going to focus to get to level 30 until I at least, uh... It's probably pretty dark for you guys, my bad. But see, it's, it's just boring. There's really nothing. I looked for a really long time to find any bases. Couldn't find anything. So I'll probably just, at some point in my life do that because I'm you guys know my videos have been really slow and I said I'm not gonna address that anymore so at some point in my life I'll probably just go off camera and find it but it's not anywhere near me because they're really big and I'm not gonna be missing one of those unless an entire one was in netherrack so that'd be just my luck I'm just gonna head out this way 
see if I can find something. Just anything. We have eight and four. There we go. That should be enough for quite a while. And I'm just gonna, you know, head out, find diamonds. I really want diamonds. And you guys have seen this series is just it's not gonna continue go too far without diamonds because in a hardcore series, not having um any enchanted stuff can really mess you up. I really want to get blast protection armor, get a sharpness sword to help fight mobs, get a power bow. Uh, eventually, I'd love to fight the Ender Dragon. It's not going to be too realistic while I'm under, <laughs> while I don't have any uh, enchanted stuff. Forgot to bring a pile of cobblestone. I'm just going to dig a little bit of cobblestone over here. I don't even know if I had some. I'm sure I had cobblestone. That's very uh abundant resource i'm sure i had some in my chest but i forgot to bring it so that that's what happens there we go pigs and trees i'm mining cobblestone just another day in minecraft that's how it goes there's always gonna be animals and trees they can't get out but they're always in it don't know what the plan is and while i'm going away from home what i really like to do set up towers on the way that point to where my home is so at any point if, like i head out this way i can find this and just go straight that way and that's where my home will be that is a really awkward shaped... I'm just going to fix that. It looks a little too long right here. One more. There we go. That looks like a, this looks like a seven now. All right. Number seven. Number seven means go that way. But yeah, that's got to find a dot. Got to find a new cave, fresh cave with new resources because this old cave's all mined out. I guarantee you I was super close to diamonds hundreds of times. I was strip mining for a while. And I'm sure all the diamonds are just like, you know, blocks away, taunting me, saying, I know you're not going to find me, but I'm right here. Look at this. Look at that. I finally saw an animal climb on top of a tree. You're always seeing animals on top of a tree, but you never know how they got there. We just saw it, folks. They just walk up. Ooh. Ooh. I see a ravine. Is that block glitching? Yeah, that was block glitching. Might as well. Uh, you know what? Since it's so close to my base, it's possible. It's already connected and stuff I've already found. So I'm going to keep getting further away. I uh, need to add that there. There we go. Get that saturation up. Make this lawn journey with the limited food I have. But I'll be killing animals along the way. So if I need to eat raw meat, which I don't like to do, it just seems like a waste. You know, if you can cook it, it'll give you so much more saturation and fill your hunger bar a little bit more. That's, you know, that's what you got to do. This is Minecraft. Alrighty. So time to get torching up. This is hardcore. Time to, time to play. This is Mr. Spankles back with this series. Getting serious. I got plenty of iron right now. I'm not going to focus on that. This is already going to be a long episode. I'm not going to spend it on... Oh my goodness. That's why I hate hardcore. Because of this reason. Tons. If there was a witch here, I would die right now. Hopefully they can start shooting each other. Well, I'm not really doing this very well. Come on. Shoot each other. Shoot each other. If a witch came behind me right now, it would be game. Which reminds me. Thank you. I'm... I don't know who I'm thanking. I'm thanking my memory for bringing it up. I need to go get milk. That's far more important than water. I'm going to throw a couple more torches down here while I'm already here. And I'm going to go back on the surface and get milk. This is hardcore survival, guys. I cannot take this lightly. One witch. One poison. I'm gone. Series is over. Most likely. Not entirely, but most likely. Ooh, what's that? Oh, nice. So this is looking like a pretty decent cave. <laughs> here we go. Yep, I'm going to go get some milk real quick. Huh, I don't even need a hoe. Why did I even bring a hoe? I should have made one more bucket. I forgot about the milk, but luckily, just in time I remembered. There was definitely a couple cows back here. Hopefully I didn't kill them all. Get a chicken on the way. Maybe by the time I'm back, my uh, farm will be grown. You know what? I got it. I got. I should get this. I gotta work on getting that. Gotta remember to get that. Even though I don't have an enchantment table yet, at some point I'll need bookshelves. There we go. That just makes me feel so much more secure about and just like i'm not gonna have to freak out every single second about a witch if i find a witch and it does poison me then i'll have to freak out because i just used it and then the next witch will kill me uh, it looks like it's getting a little bit dark here that's all right that'll be going in the cave huh i don't have any more coal so at some point i'll probably need to find more coal because torches go away pretty quickly in a hardcore series because i kind of just spam torches you kind of have to might as well get a little bit more coal right away while it's right here i mean coal is never going to be a resource that's difficult to find but might as well just pick it up while it's right there standing in front of my face i heard the ravine sound that so i think that means there's a ravine below me so maybe i'll run into that at some point Ooh, it's just so dark oh yeah i turned my minecraft brightness all the way down huh i was using my minecraft for something else besides minecraft and this is 
There we go. That is literally the stupidest thing you can do in a hardcore series. I could have just been killed right there so easily. That would have been a scrub move from me. Look at that. See? I totally wouldn't have seen those. Why? I totally forgot. Dude, that could have destroyed me. Now I'm sure it makes it a lot easier for you guys to see. So, it helps out everyone. Gotta be super careful with creepers. I knew how many hits it takes to kill, so I was gonna like, I'm just gonna keep swinging. You know, I'm gonna throw some bow shots off. If I can miss, if I miss a mob, that's really sad. I'm so used to, oh, I just hit the bat. Poor bat. Why is a skeleton not shooting me? Is, I must have been too far for him to target me. That's weird. I must have been like a block or two out of range. I might as well just get a little bit of iron. There's so much, and I see it, and I like, not necessarily the most important thing, but I kind of like mining iron, and I'm, I'll need it at some point. Maybe at some point in my series, I'll make an iron, uh, well, not an iron, because all, I can't even remember what it's called. Mine tracks. I'll make a, I'll make a railroad. There we go. I think that's what I'm going for, because, I mean, you can only make power rails with gold and just regular rails with iron, so it's not really going to be a stone railroad, so I don't know why I added iron, not really necessary. Oh, so that's empty back there. I'm going to head around and hopefully find a new way to dig and look for stuff. I'm heading around a loop. Loops are always one of those scary things. You'll be heading around a loop and there'll be, bam, like a witch right there. I'll get you and you never saw it. Loops are very scary in hardcore survival. I mean, everything's scary in hardcore survival. I flip out all the time for no reason. You got to. If you're not flipping out, that means you're probably not aware or you're overconfident and then you die. So you got to be... If you're not if you're not even a little scared, then there's something wrong. No one's good enough where no matter how good you are, creeper's going to kill you if it blows up and you have no armor. Even... I think I died, almost died full iron, and took me down to half a heart, if I remember, earlier on in the series. So that just shows you how strong they are. I don't know in hardcore mode if they're stronger, but, I mean, they might be. I'm going to throw my coordinates up, see where I'm at, if I'm going to be at diamond finding level. 32, there we go. Let's put that there. Alright, so I'm making my way down. Hopefully, uh, it keeps continuing this cave. It looked like it was going to end, but I hope that's just because it's dark down there and I can't see some turns or something. Let's see. Yeah, this might be looking like an end. I'm going to dig a little bit this way. And yeah, that is the source. So um, throw a torch up there. There we go. Huh. I'm just going to actually go spiral staircase down. If I can remember where I heard the ravine sound, maybe it'll make it again. Just spiral staircase down that way. I mean, that's always a good bet. And I'm, dude, look at this. I just spam torches in this series. I mean, you just spamming torches. That's so good and such a good practice to do because, I mean, it's super easy to get torches. It might be a little bit time consuming because, well, it's not even that time consuming. It's just annoying to get torches, but it's easy enough. So why not be uh, safe? Be careful. Get torches. Keep on lighting up the path. I got plenty of wood. I'm getting more coal. That's good. And the fact that one coal and one stick makes four torches. Just and coal and sticks are both super easy resources to get hold of. If I remember, it was around here. Hopefully, my uh, memory is on because a lot of point, a lot of times it's not on point. But hopefully, this time it is. So what I'm gonna do is go this way. And every time I turn around, I'll throw another torch up. Since it is staircase, the light stays in a little bit better, so I shouldn't need to hardcore spam them like I usually do. That's a little bit of a pun because I'm in hardcore mode. And I said uh, hardcore spam, so you guys. Whoever is watching should be laughing, and if you're not, then you're you're bad. You know, gotta laugh at a good pun, even though that wasn't. There's a lot of things, a lot of reasons you could consider that not even a pun or not a good one. But I'm trying to get down here. Hopefully, there is the ravine here. If there, if I am above a ravine, then I should be very nearby because I'm getting down to 40. Ravines are tall caverns in the in the cave systems. So they usually don't, like, and it's not too hard to find them usually. If you hear that noise, which I th still feel like means there's a ravine below you, it shouldn't be too hard to find because if it's below you, then you just dig down. They're pretty big. Usually not going to miss it unless I was, like, it was, like, right there and I was digging, like, one to the side. That'd be kind of, I mean, not sad because I would have found it there if it was there, but if it, it's, like, that way or something, something I'm missing, that'd be a little bit sad because I'll really never know because I'm never going to check that way. Huh. I really thought I would have found it by now. I'm going to keep digging down. Look for something. Yeah, for now on, I'm probably just going to upload large chunks of this series. 
I hear stuff. Alright, I'm just gonna dig each direction for a tiny bit, and then if not, it could still be below me. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, I was go still gonna probably start uploading really large chunks of this series, or just when I record it, I'll record for a while. Make it easier, so if you guys like, wanna watch something, it's at least when I do post, this will be here. Look at that, I got plenty of cobblestone now. Huh. So I think it's just below me. Yeah, look, there we go. That's a good case of some right on a low level. Uh, hmm, what should I not have in my inventory? I don't think an axe is gonna be too important down in the cave system. Throw this right there. Need to make this. Oh boy. Look at we have here. A zombie. It's about to start rapping some epic rap battles of history, but that is not what I'm about right now. Alright. Getting down. Slowly making our way. Gotta find a good way to get there. Get into the wall and mine down the side of the wall. There we go. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Easing our way in. Might as well make some uh, more torches while I'm at it. Seven. That's not even a large amount. That's kind of a counterproductive amount of torches to spend the time and then make that few. That's alright. Ah, almost 30 ish. That's not bad. It's like to ease my way into caves in hardcore mode. Look at that. Creepers waiting to be like, Hey, Mr. Spangles, would you like to end your series now? Don't kill me to continue. There we go. Hey, that was a really bad way to build in this cave. I kind of just... <sighs> yeah, see, why am I doing this? This is really unsafe. There's multiple ways for them to get to me. And, yeah, whatever. I'm fine now. Oh man, there better be some sort of spawner or something. Nah, I'm just kidding. This is hardcore. There's, they're going to be spawning like crazy. I'm pretty sure things do spawn more in hardcore mode. I'm still not completely sure if... Uh, completely sure if they do more damage in hardcore. Uh, pretty soon, when uh, Ultimate Ninja, Oliver, one of you guys, you guys have seen on my channel if you've been here just for a while, he's going to... He's actually going to be coming to my house soon. So, depending on how long this episode goes ooh, that i could have just fallen into lava that would have been a lag spike in my series so he's gonna be coming to my house so depending how long this episode goes there might be a another commentator going on here if ultimate ninja gets here oliver whatever you like to call him so yeah he'll be here somewhat soon help uh help me help me know what to do give me knowledge look at that gold i'm always liking that gold now that i have milk i'm kind of upset because i need that water. Yeah, I'm going to take a second here. I need water. I need another bucket. And I already got iron. That's good. There we go. Milk and water. I'm going to make myself... Make my way over there. Sorry, guys, if you hear dishes upstairs. As you know, a lot of the reasons I can't record for you guys is because of living in a house with a lot of people. Not a lot of people, just enough to make noise because it only takes one other person to make noise. And sorry if they, you hear dishes upstairs. There's uh, a little bit out of my control. And I wanted to get a video up for you guys because it's been a while. So, there we go. Get some lapoose. If I don't find any diamonds down here, I will actually be pretty upset. I won't be like, I don't know. I won't be super sane upset. I'll be, I'll be a little frustrated. After uh, the fact that I found this really nice cave. Just to get me excited for nothing if there is no diamonds. I'm at 12, so it could be diamonds anywhere around here. There is some more water up here. Always being cautious. For some reason, I feel like I hear my friend upstairs, so he might actually be here already. If he makes his way down, you guys will get to hear him. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's upstairs. We'll see, though, if he gets down here soon. Probably, ooh, man, my diamond pig's going. I'm trying to think if there's any reason I need it. I already have an obsidian to make a... Yeah, there's really no reason I already have an obsidian to make a enchantment table. Obviously not enough diamonds, because a lot of the series has been trying to find diamonds. 
so much of it. I mean, that's all Minecraft is, is find diamonds to make better tools. Then you break those tools while you're trying to find more diamonds to make armor. And then it's kind of, it's a continuous race of finding more diamonds. Look at that. These things are literally spawning in light. Like, I was just there, and they were definitely not there. <laughs> yeah, blow up on your zombie, please. Hmm. Yeah, I usually don't like other noises in my recording. I like to try to make my videos professional, which I could get you guys a video every single day if I wanted there to be singing or talking or whatever in the background, but I just think that I if I'm gonna if I'm gonna make a video, might as well try to make it to the best of my ability. So you guys will get better quality even if you get less quantity. Hmm. This cave is looking pretty solid. I'm gonna start getting more torches up here because things are still spawning. Oh, I forgot about that gold earlier. I just was like, oh, I need water. Going all over. I just like to get torches all over. Huh. <laughs> there you go. Getting torches. I'm gonna backtrack just a bit. I need to start picking up that gold. Gold is just probably the second most important thing after diamonds, especially for a series like this. And I already have one apple, but I don't have a notch apple, which is we have to be my next goal. Throw away raw chicken. Doesn't really do a ton. It can make you sick, so just throw that away. Already thought I would find diamond by this point. Alrighty, I'm going to. Come on! Not where there's a creeper nearby. Do not stop me. Look at that. We made a creeper stopper. Unintentional. Okay, get this guy. Get this guy. Holy! What the heck? I just got super scared all of a sudden. I don't know why. What threw that into me? I mean, I knew there was a creeper there, but then all of a sudden I just was terrified. Always oh, checking my back. Look at that. What do you want? I don't even like you. Sorry, skeleton. No one likes you. It's just a fact. Look at that. Should have made more torches. Already running out. Man, look at this. I need to find diamonds. Oh! Look at that. Look at that, guys. I am not going to let myself die right here while preparing to get diamonds. Nope. There we go. There we go. Look at that. There's plenty of torches. Stack and a half. Hey, uh... I'm just gonna cut this recording real quickly. <laughs> All right, just had to cut something out real quick because I was asking the people upstairs to be a little bit more polite and uh, be like, hey guys, I just found diamonds. This is important. Can you shut your faces? I don't know what you guys are hearing. I really don't, but out of my control. I should probably stop mentioning it. There we go, I'll just, I'll just head down here. Pick up these diamonds. You know what, Lapoos can wait. Cole can wait. Water cannot wait. Always be safe. I could have fallen down that hole and died. Man, see, these things are just trying to stop me from getting this this special moment. The reason I'm not acting excited is because I don't want to oh, overexcite myself and then screw up, make a mistake. I just got to stay calm. Like letting Creeper blow these up. That could screw over a lot of things. So I'm going to do this the safest way. Uh, actually that water is going to be helpful to me because well, I don't think mobs can get to me. Yeah, they shouldn't be able to get to me. Yeah, there we go. That's actually helpful water. I'll take care of it in a second. But I'm not going to let anything take this moment from me. Like lava below the diamonds. That would take it from me. There we go. Should be good. Oh, besides the fact... What if I didn't realize that I couldn't pick it up? You guys would probably be yelling at me in the comments or something. There we go. How beautiful is that, guys? That's so beautiful. I'm gonna cry. No, I'm kidding. I'm completely flying. This is Minecraft. I'm not gonna cry over Minecraft. Unless my file got erased or something. Probably still wouldn't cry then, but I'd be a little bit upset. Be disappointed. This has been a pretty cool, pretty cool series. And it just got way better because I just found diamonds. Sorry, I'm not that excited. I really gotta 
stay calm because overexciting yourself can make you play worse. So I'm going to be professional about this. I could be like talk all fun and try to make this more entertaining for you guys. But it would probably be more entertaining for you guys if I don't die. So see like right now, I'm under fire. So I'm just going to stay calm. You think you're a good bowman? No, you're garbage. Look at that. Where's your rapid fire? Alright. I actually do want gunpowder. I already have a slot for it. Man. Creepers are going to creep. Alright, I'm going to dig a different way because I... Just gotta be very careful. I just found diamonds. This would... This mission is just about over. I don't even want to go back it because there's such good, uh, such good, such good places to find diamonds over there. I don't know which way you're looking, but the wrong way, skeleton. There we go. I don't even know why. What the point of that was? I just want to be careful dealing with ledges and water. And break. I gotta get that to stop. Gotta get that to stop. There we go. Water just scares me. Traps you. And now that's just when I need some glitch. See, I'd already, I already took that out, but decided to not recede. So this has been, you know, this has been a good mission. I'm really glad I decided to look. Oh my goodness! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! He's got golden armor. I'm, yeah, I'm definitely running away from that. Hey, look, speaking of gold, mine this real quickly. Yeah, Ultimate Ninja's upstairs, but he's just... See, that was probably the lag from earlier that is now coming into play. Luckily, there's some water over here. Ultimate Ninja is here. He's just upstairs doing whatever doing whatever he does. So, I don't know. He might pop out on this commentary at some point. Maybe not. Maybe. There we go. Nice piece of gold. This episode has probably been going pretty long. So I actually might end this here in a second because I want to make long episodes, but not like, like, not super, super long, just kind of long. I don't know. Have I already been down here? Oh, yep, definitely just went in a circle. I'm going to go back this way because this way still definitely promised me some diamonds. And again, I don't know how much Lapusa takes to enchant, so I'm just going to be loading up on that. On that blue poop. Get some coal. You know, I want to do some inventory management. What do I not need? Fences take a lot of wood to make. I don't want to throw that away. I do need that for books eventually. Huh. What is the... Ho. You're out of here, ho. Always leave your ho behind. I think when in doubt, ho behind. There we go. You'll never get better advice from anyone on the internet besides Mr. Smagles because he is definitely the wisest person. So if you listen to me, you'll go places in life and you'll probably be pretty good at Minecraft if you can listen to the tips that I give you. I don't even know if I give you tips. I usually just play and hope to entertain you. So I've been really calm and quiet this whole thing because I got diamonds and I really wanted to just make sure I was acting professional. Don't want to overexcite anything. You know what? Get that torch out. Put some water. It looks like some lava down there. As I was correct. Hey! This guy wants to go shovel. Maybe he'll find some flint for me if he goes get all that gravel. To shovel. Look at that. See, that was my point. It was really flat back here. There wasn't too much of a reason for me not to return. And emeralds. Well, I'll probably even find more diamonds. If I find tons of, tons of diamonds... Alright, I let that blow up. Because I didn't want to back up just in case the... Lava hadn't gone, and I knew it was far enough where I'd live, so I made a quick decision. So in case you guys were like, why didn't you... I mean, the best thing I could have done is taken my sword out, but I had my torches in my inventory, and I guess I didn't think quick enough to do that. Always mine under diamonds. A lot of people don't do that. You know what's usually under diamonds? Lava. Sorry, guys, that I, uh... Just, uh, say I'm very, very, uh... Very, uh, strong in my opinion on... Well, even there, I should have mined below that. Don't. Just mine below a diamond. It takes two seconds. And I guarantee you, 50% of the time you don't, it's going to fall into lava. Because there's lava under it. Because it's diamonds. It's by lava level. There's no reason for there not to be lava. 
under diamonds, especially with where you always find diamonds. That between what is it? I think they spawn between like ten and fifteen. I'm not entirely sure. This cave has been very fruitful. I'm glad, very glad I decided to come this way. Take a little bit. Did take a little bit to find diamonds. I only like that. I'm going to make you go away now because I don't want to go all the way up. Is it good? Yep, it's good. Let me get some gold. Look at that, my gold, my pixel almost gone. Gold's pretty nice, but I guess I don't care about it as much as diamonds, so I'm not going to take one second to look below it, even though I should, because it's one second. It's not going to really change a ton. Still, still have chances to find more diamonds. Lava recedes extremely slow, and you're super, super annoying. Right, head around. I'll head back. Head back to this big spot of uh, diamond finding spot that I didn't want to go over earlier because it just it's pretty dangerous. There's lots of weird looking like see like this area. It's just like caves and drops and lava and I just said caves and we're in a cave, so that was really counterproductive. Not really necessary. For me to add as if any of you guys thought I was above ground. Now you know. Because of Mr. Spankle's detective skills, you know that I am not underground. I always like blocking water resources. They always eh, get me really annoyed. I'm getting some gold. I really want to make you guys... uh. Another hardcore survival. You guys seem to enjoy that. Again, that's one of those things that when I can find time to record, it's not an hour long because there's like a small window of time I have. Now is one of those times I have a lot of time. So if I actually, I have a while, like currently in my life, the day it is, I'm recording and it is Friday. I actually have a while where like a lot of people are gone. So after this, I might even record a UHC. But I mean, a lot of speculation that I might record one and then get fourth place and not really think it was really worth posting. So many things that go into that. You know what? This cave is so far away. I really want to make sure I get enchanted and stuff. I'm going to check this way for a couple seconds. Hey, look, that's a gold I saw way earlier and then completely forgot about because I was too excited on a level where I could find diamonds. So I'm going to check this way a little bit more, then I'll end this episode off. But I do appreciate you guys uh, watching. If anyone's still here, some of you guys probably like, this episode's so long, I'm not going to watch it. I have better things to do, like go uh, procrastinate doing my homework. Some of you guys probably do that, and I do that too much. Oh, man. I didn't think that creeper would be that fast. I'm going to get this gold and then end this off. Wow, that did too much. I hit it away. I'm upset. If that had killed me, I would have cried. I like about crying a lot. I must be in a crying mood. There we go. Broke that diamond pick. I don't need it anymore. I have enough diamonds to make another diamond pick. And... And, ladies and gentlemen, our enchantment table. Now I'm going to have to worry on getting books and a cow farm. I'll probably make a cow farm. I'm going to go back to right around on a spot. I want to end this in a spot where I can find my way back up get over here wherever it was I remember I dug down I was able to hmm, around here ish maybe that's where I did it maybe that's where I made my first little bit of a wall hey I never went that way here it is all right I'm gonna end this up episode off here and thank you guys for watching I'm gonna just get somewhere safe real quick this has been Mr. Spankles thank you everybody for watching a rating would be appreciated and have a nice day